In this quick video, I'm going to show you real quick how to install Forge and Forge mods for Minecraft 1.19. Let's get straight into it. Let's install Forge for Minecraft 1.19. To do that, use the link down below in the description. You can also look everything up yourself, but it's very easy. If you just go to the link down below in the description, check out this page on how to install Forge. It will contain all the useful links that you're going to need in this video. Now, I'm going to be using just one single mod in this tutorial, but you can repeat this process for every single Forge mod out there, pretty much. So let's not waste any more time and let's get started installing Forge and Forge mods for Minecraft 1.19. To get started, we need to make sure Minecraft 1.19 is downloaded and installed to our PC. And to do that, just open up your Minecraft launcher, select the latest release 1.19 and just click play. So now that we're in Minecraft 1.19, you can just click quit game. Now get back to your browser or open up your browser, use the link down below in the description or just do a quick Google search for Forge for Minecraft 1.19. If you do use the links down below in the description, you can scroll down a little until it's it says Forge Mod Loader right here. I'm gonna open that link right here. Uh, if this is your first time visiting this page, you may have to accept cookies or not accept cookies. And then after that, you will automatically be taken to this page where it says download Minecraft Forge 1.19. And you just click this huge installer button right here. This will take you to an ad page where you just don't click anything and just wait five seconds for a skip button to appear at the top right here. You click it and it should immediately download Forge. And now, as you can see, Forge has been downloaded, but if I press Control J and come over to my downloads, it does have this very specific Java icon. And for some people it does not, so I want to tell you real quick what you can do. Come back to this post, scroll down a little until it says Java and Jarfix. First thing you can try and do is download Jarfix. It's a very easy, small program that you execute and then click yes, and then it will either tell you to download Java, which you can't do using that program. You have to come back here and actually download Java yourself, or it will say it has now finally fixed the .jar suffix, and you can come back to this download, and there's no need to install Java all over again. You just click this installer after you've done all that, or if you didn't even have to do all that, click the installer. This will open up the Forge installer. Make sure it selects install client and click OK. And then after a while, it will say complete successfully installed client profile Forge 1.19. And now you click OK. This means we have now successfully installed Forge. The next thing we're going to do is download a mod of choice for Forge for 1.19. So all you got to do is look up a mod for Minecraft 1.19, which you can do over on Curse Forge or over on mcmodspot.com, like I said. And I have picked the physics bot because it's really cool, it's really popular, and it is up to date with Minecraft 1.19. So over on this website that you'll also find down below in the description, you can scroll down to recent files and look for where it says Minecraft 1.19. Don't download the Fabric 1.19 one because that one doesn't work. We have selected Forge here, and you click this download button right here. Now wait five seconds for the download to automatically start. And just a quick reminder, if you want to use Fabric instead, a card will pop up in the top right corner right now on how to install Fabric instead of Forge. So there we have the physics mod. I'm going to drag it over to the desktop right here so I can access it later because what we're going to do now is go into the search bar because we need to go into the .minecraft folder. And to do that, you type in percent app data percent and hit enter you'll be shown all these folders you just click dot minecraft and if you've never installed mods before then there will not be a mods folder if you still have mods in a mods folder in here make sure to get rid of them as long as they're not 1.19 compatible if they are 1.19 compatible you can give it a try and see if they work with the physics mod for example either way create a new folder if you have never installed mods before and name it mods lowercase double click this folder drag in the physics mod and that is it you can now close this window, open up your Minecraft launcher. As you can see, it selected the Forge profile for us. If it's not selected by default for some reason, go over to installations right here and you should be able to find it if you search for Forge, for example. Now you can just go back here and click play. It will show you this warning if this is your first time running a new Forge or Fabric or Optifine version. Just click I understand the risks after you've read this bit right here and click play. So here we are, Minecraft 1.19 with Forge. I'm gonna hop into a single player world and show you that the mod that I've installed actually works. Like I say, you can repeat this process for any other mod as well. But for today, I'm gonna prove to you that we have now successfully installed the physics mod. So here we are, Minecraft 1.19. As you can see, well, this might as well have been Minecraft 1.18 or something. But as you can see, it says physics settings right here. And if I punch tall grass, for example, look at that. It falls apart in a crazy way. Look at the sand, look at the dirt and grass. It looks so weird. So that, ladies and gentlemen, is how you install Forge mods for Minecraft 1.19. Now, be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you think it was helpful and other people should also use this particular video 
when they're trying to install Force 1.19 because it really does help if you hit that thumbs up. Also, last but not least, hit that subscribe button because most of you guys are not subscribed. Oh, and we have a Minecraft server which is play.danielplays.net. I almost forgot to mention that, but it's really fun and you should go check out that server. And then without any further ado, I'll of course, as always, catch you in the next one. See ya.